Frugal minded, welcome. $1.9 trillion American rescue plan. It's on its way. For those of you that's been watching the news, you may know that the IRS is starting to send out these stimulus checks via direct deposit over the weekend. That money should be in your bank account sometime this week via direct deposit and possibly next week if you are receiving these checks. For those of you that may be spending it, helping drive the economy, kudos to you. But for some of us who are a little more frugal minded and saving that money for a rainy day, I want to share with you opportunities that I believe can double your money in the next 9 to 12 months as the economy recovers to its full strength. What I want to talk to you today about is top three sectors I believe will benefit the most from the money that's being injected into the economy and to the American people. I just want to thank all our subscribers, all the folks that's commented and wanting to start small. This is for you. So I want to share something with you. This is my portfolio in an experiment, I call it. I, I devoted about $5,000 to this portfolio right after the March 23rd crash. What I chose were companies that were very sensitive to potential recovery. At that time, these companies were Avis Hertz, Norwegian Cruise, Penn, JetBlue, Southwest Airlines, and MGM Grand Resorts. Those were the six companies, and I devoted about $1,000, $1,100 to each one. And the two that I split was around gaming. I wasn't sure how they would react with what's happening to the recovery of the economy. So I devoted about $500 to Penn Gaming and also $500 to MGM Grand Resort. After a year, these stocks have done really well. You can take a quick look. I want to talk to you about how you can invest your stimulus checks so that you can get the biggest bang for your buck. I want to start here and take you through the three sectors of the economy that I believe will benefit the most as we go through our economic recovery in 2021. The first one is around gaming and gambling. So as many of you have seen, the two companies that I chose, Penn Gaming and MGM, have done really well. In fact, Penn has gone up over 600%. With the 30 shares of Penn Gaming that I have purchased for a little over $500, turned into $4,000. And with future legislation that's coming, there's demand for online gaming, online gambling. As you can see, DraftKings has done really well since its IPO last year. What I'm suggesting is a company called Golden Nuggets. We're going to take a look at the chart right here. It is on online gambling. It was really around New Jersey, but there's a lot of legislation and growth, especially in New York. Brief statistics. New York State is the fourth largest state in america with close to about 19 and a half million people good amount of opportunities there for online gaming and gambling and the state needs to raise revenue in order to meet its budget and as of now golden nuggets has been working with new york state to get legislation passed golden nugget has an opportunity of close to two billion dollars in the future there's a growth in 2027 to about 10 billion dollars that's significant growth for this stock. And I'll give you something of a comparable. If you actually purchase Caesar, take a look at the chart for Caesars when it was under $10. As of closing today, March 15th, the stock is over $100. That is almost a 1100% increase. You would have 11X your money if you had purchased a share of Caesars when the market tanked and no one was going to go out to any type of casino, hotels, or travel at all. There is certainly pent up demand for travel and leisure at this point. This week is spring break. Airlines have been selling out seats. It is a sign that with the vaccination taking place, there is growth and there is recovery in the economy. For those of you that are interested in further diversifying, I would recommend BJK. Let's take a quick look at what is in the portfolio for BJK. These are the biggest gaming and gambling companies out there. 
and you don't have to purchase individual ones if you just purchase BJK. It holds Las Vegas Sands, DraftKings, Galaxy Entertainment Group, Caesars Entertainment, MGM, and Penn National. These are some of the big winners into 2021 and 2022 with legislation and also demand for gaming and gambling. Let's move on to number two. What is it that the world needs other than oil? What is it that sits inside a Tesla, a Neo, or our cell phones? It's lithium. Lithium is the energy store of the future. As they call it, it is the new oil. What I would like to suggest to you is look at lithium stocks. One particular company is Hedmon Mining Company, symbol PLL. There is no way around lithium in the future. Lithium is the energy store that's required for electric vehicle, which will grow into the future as we become more mobile or dependent on our cell phones. And what do our cell phones require? Lithium batteries. The stock has done really well as of today. It went up 10%. It also recovered very well in the last two weeks after it was hammered and it was in the high 50s and it recovered to almost $80 in a span of about 10 days. And I feel that right now with the demand for lithium and also what's going on in the market, this company is suited to do very well. And here's the chart for the company. For those that are interested in diversifying their portfolio a bit and still want to invest in lithium, I would recommend LIT, that's the ETF for lithium companies. Let's bring up the chart and take a look. Lithium companies include Tesla, SQM, Albemarle, and quite a few others that are some of the largest producers for lithium in the world. I think it's important that you think about putting this in your portfolio as the demand for EVs grow, cell phones continue to grow. I'll share something else with you that you might find very fascinating. Joe Biden has said that he wants to convert the US federal government's fleet of vehicles from gasoline to EVs. That is a huge number of vehicles that will require lithium powered batteries. So think about that as you make this investment. And now we finally come to the third sector. What does China and the Soviets have in common that could help the US economy? If you said nothing, you're wrong. It's around space and security infrastructure. What did Russia do last year? The SolarWinds hack. What did China recently do with Microsoft? They hacked them. So there is a great demand for security products right now from big companies to the federal government to many other enterprises in America. Take a look at the space and security sector because China and Russia, as you may have heard, is teaming up. China is making its best attempt to dominate the global economy. What they also need is a Cold War ally and that being Russia. So I want you to take a look at this company in the space industry and it's Maxar. Maxar is playing a critical role for defense, intelligence, and also with space. A year ago, Maxar was under $10 and currently is trading for about $45 a share. It's also done really well because it's being added to many of the space ETFs. There is a demand for what Maxar is producing for the US government and also for companies that are interested in security and space exploration. Now, if you're interested in diversifying your money and not just buying Maxar alone, I would suggest an ETF trading symbol F-I-T-E, FITE. FITE holds Maxar as its number one holding, along with Visionet, Veronis, FireEye, Fortinet, CyberArk, CrowdStrike, Flare Systems, and Aero Environments in the drone space. This gives you a great deal of diversification in the space and security and future drone development. This ETF has done pretty well. One year returns about 33% and three years is about 16%. And the life of this fund since inception is about 16% as well. And that's very important for those of you that are interested in drones and what drones will be used for in the future. 
that is a good portfolio to invest in to diversify your holdings. After we have gone through all three sectors, your question may be, what should I do and how should I diversify? If you're getting a check for $1,400, I would suggest that you buy two or three of these sectors. But to best diversify your money, I would put them in individual ETFs, exchange traded funds that I have mentioned instead of the individual stocks. I want to show you something else. I invested in Penn Gaming. I invested in MGM but I also invested in BJK in a separate portfolio. Now, if you were to go with the ETF, I'm gonna give you some quick numbers. If you had invested around April 1st of 2020 into BJK, the stock was about $30. Currently, it's trading for close to $60. You're looking at about 100% return on your money. And I'll show you what risk and reward looks like. If you had invested your money into Penn Gaming, you would have had a return of 661%. Also, if you had invested all of your money into MGM, you would have had a 196% return. This is the positive, this is the good side of the outcome by not diversifying. You're gonna get more gains. If you don't diversify, a lot of nasty things could potentially happen. So take a look, consider this, and see what you will do. My advice is to diversify and good luck investing that stimulus money. And I'll see you soon and happy hustling.